And just before we get into the demo of the science unit called Training Trackers, I'll share high level how we have adapted this for hybrid learning. And this is very much taking our 5E instructional model approach and recognizing that before class and after class, when the kids are at home, teachers can give them assignments relating to engaging and, and elaborating. And then once they're in class with a physical experience, they can actually do the experiment. And this Yannick will share in more detail in his demo. All right. Thanks, Melissa. So I'm here to uh, present the, uh, the work that we've been doing for the last uh, couple of months. Uh, as you, you definitely know, the couple of months have been a little bit eclectic, so they've been uh, different uh, than regular life. Uh, the team has been working really hard to develop a, a new experience or a, a supplementary experience in the, uh, the Spike app. Uh, and I'm super excited to present you a, a completely new unit. Uh, it's based on the theme of, uh, of exercise, of being active, and it's, uh, it's under the theme of uh, training trackers. So uh, if I go on our favorite website uh, for content, which is uh, our slash lesson uh, platform, we uh, definitely find uh, since a couple of weeks a, um, a new unit completely um, uh, with uh, seven new lessons that are uh, available for both uh, students and, and teachers. I will go into uh, the software version or the software side of it in a, in a couple of, uh, of minutes. Um, if I go back to the theme, uh, training trackers, um, we are in the world of, uh, of movement, in the world of, uh, of, of students being, uh, being active, uh, students being uh, engaged into physical activity or just you know, being, being, uh, being teenagers out there. And, 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 and some of them are uh, really interested about uh, tracking their movements or tracking their uh, progression or tracking something. So there's tons of uh, smart devices out there. Uh, for us to use, and uh, in this unit, we propose a uh, Spike Smart Device. Um, we are in the theme of, uh, of uh, physical science as well, so we're going to talk a lot about uh, physical, um, sorry, uh, potential energy, kinetic energy, speed acceleration. So that's that's kind of the, the topics we are going to uh, to talk about uh, in in this uh, in this unit. And as you're going to see, we, uh, we are bringing tons of new tools in the, in the application. So we're bringing a uh, data, data logging uh, line graph tool, uh, and I'll demo that in, in a couple of minutes. So this is the, uh, the unit overall. If I go into uh, one specific lesson, uh, and as I said, we're, we're going to uh, work with uh, stretch with data a little bit today. So um, uh, teachers can, can use this page to, uh, to get ready for, uh, for planning and, and preparation. As, as I said, and, and as Melissa was mentioning, uh, we are in, in, in a world where, where maybe uh, schools are, are not open or not functioning as they, they usually are, which means that uh, it is possible for now to propose a, a, an option where part of the, of the lesson is, is done maybe outside of the, of the classroom. It can be at home, it can be uh, at the library, it can be in, in different locations. But definitely that's the first part of lessons, so the preparation part or the hypothesis or the introduction to the topic can be done outside the classroom. Then we, uh, we want to make sure that when you are in the classroom, you have uh, your, your full time, your full 45 minutes uh, playing with the bricks when you can come to school. And then you collect enough data, you connect, collect enough information, videos, pictures. So when you go back to, uh, to home, uh, you, can, you can work with this, this data and, and produce a, a final outcome. It could be of various forms, a uh, science report or a video online or, or a presentation uh, in different uh, uh, meeting platforms. So this is what we are proposing for teachers. So we, we have definitely uh, listed different ways we can uh, we can suggest the teacher looks uh, at, at our lessons. But basically, we haven't changed a lot. Um, we are still following our 5E structure uh, and having this uh, uh, engage phase, uh, explain phase, elaborate phase, uh, uh, and, and so on. A couple of adjustments we've also made is that uh, in the differentiation part, 
uh, we've uh, we've focused a lot on on how can we maybe enable uh, uh, students to to do some of the lesson at home if they would probably uh, maybe borrow the the Spike uh, Prime Hub. Uh, we have options here. I think the the theme uh, that we've been following along this uh, the development of that unit is is making things flexible, making things uh, uh, adjustable for all sorts of scenarios uh, that we are going to see during the fall and, and maybe for a couple of months more around around the world. Um, we've also uh, used a lot of um, here here is the uh, the line graph. Maybe you're excited about uh, showing how uh, seeing how it works. So. Uh, uh, I'm going to demo that in a, in a couple of, uh, of minutes. Um, maybe you see here also the, uh, the use of, of videos being a little bit more emphasized. So I would like to, uh, to, to talk about, about it a little bit more. So each of the, of the lessons have a, a lesson video that sits on top of, uh, of, the, of the page. Uh, and that video is dedicated for the teacher as, as the, some sort of the full, uh, the full package of what's happening in this lesson. And as you're going to see in a, in a couple of minutes, we have also shrunk uh, or chopped that video in, in, in sequences so we can, uh, we can also present some of them to the students when they are uh, at home or preparing the, the lessons. So I think uh, now it's a good time just to, uh, to watch the video of this, uh, of this uh, lesson. So um, let's, uh, let's take two minutes for, for that. to do this. This lesson will show your students how to create programs that can graph real sensor data. They'll learn how to correlate graph curves with real life movement, like stretching, and practice doing just that. To complete this lesson, your students will build a yoga ring. They'll use the yoga ring to track their movements on a graph and become yoga pros as they follow the graph data to mimic the tracked movements. To prepare for this lesson, Take a look at the Stretch with Data lesson in the LEGO Education Spike app, or watch the following videos. It's time to stretch. He'll start with the resistance bands. He thinks today's a good day to try some yoga. Cool, a yoga ring. He's never done yoga before and isn't quite sure what to do. He wonders if this ring can help him. It's time to make your own yoga ring. You can build this one or create your own design. So how does it work? Well, there's a motion sensor inside the hub. When the hub is rotated, it tracks and records the angles. You can find something similar in smartwatches and phones. The motion sensor tracks three values the pitch, the roll, and the yaw. Each of these values is an angle, and that's what we're going to track. Okay, now that you've built your smart yoga ring, it's time to try it out. Let's start with mountain pose. Stand with your feet, hip width apart, and hold your yoga ring in front of your stomach with both hands. Slowly lift your hands over your head and bring them back down. Great work. Now you'll need to download the program to log your movements. Press the left button on the hub to start logging your data. Your movements will be streamed to your device, so you'll see them logged in real time. Watch what happens to the graph. How do your movements match what you see on the graph? How could you change to make your movements align with the graph? Now let's try a second pose, warrior two. Start in mountain pose, then step your feet about a meter apart, pivot on your toe and bend your front knee. Bring your arms down to shoulder height, holding your yoga ring in one hand. Log your new movements using the same program structure. Don't forget to change the value from pitch to roll. Press the left button on the hub to start logging then practice your warrior two pose. Download the updated program to log your new movements. What's happening to your graph? How do your movements align with what you see on the graph? Now that you've got the basics down, it's time for the challenge. Here's a new graph that shows a yoga session. Can you use your new yoga moves to match what you see on the graph? Look at the value you need to log and adjust your program. You will need to log two values at the same time. When you log the values, think about how fast you perform a move. If you can't get it right in the first place, repeat it as many times as necessary. Ready? Three, two, one, stretch. When you're done with your session, look at the results. How precise were your movements? Why do you think that was? Another way to do this lesson is to perform the experiment only using the hub. In this case, you'd hold your hub just like a yoga ring. Let's explore math using your yoga ring. Try this. Identify a place on your graph where the values are represented by a straight slope. 
not a curve. Use the Spike app to find the top and bottom coordinates. Find the math expression represented by y equals mx plus b, where y equals the angle at a specific time, m equals the slope, x equals time, and b equals the angle where the graph starts. This equation will give you the degrees per second you're moving the yoga ring. Now let's explore language arts using your yoga ring. Contact a yoga instructor or fitness trainer in your community and show them your yoga ring. Ask whether it could be useful in their daily practice. Write a report on your findings. Now you're ready to stretch. All right. So I um, hope you can see that we've put a lot of efforts to, to bring uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of good ideas to, uh, to use these lessons also in a, in, a, in a blended way, in a way that uh, there are some extensions that can be done either at, at home or in, in different uh, locations or in, in different places.